I couldn't believe that this happened to me. How I would describe this uh, video, to me it just looks like a garage full of crap. <laughs> The embarrassment haunted my dreams for months. The colors just really throw me off. It's a lot happening, but some of it looks really busy. <gasps> my amateur YouTube channel had gotten roasted by a major influencer live in front of millions. Let me show you what happened. I started my YouTube journey back in January of this year. And just like many other creators that start on YouTube, I wanted to grow an audience and make money off of my videos, just like many of the top influencers that we see every day. And I quickly realized that just aimlessly talking to a camera lens, uploading the footage, and then calling my friends and telling them I just dropped a fire video was to no avail. So I started to research how I could actually become better at YouTube and start growing a community. And that research was what eventually led me down the path to being humiliated in front of millions. I came across a video educator called vidIQ and their channel, which was the go-to spot for learning how to grow on YouTube, has been running since 2011, founded by the CEO, Rob Sandy. And to date, this channel has over 1.1 million subscribers. Now, this is where it gets interesting. vidIQ holds a weekly live stream where they review other people's YouTube channels to give them advice on what they can change to get more views on their videos. Now, one week, I'm tuned into their live stream, just watching them critique other creators' channels. And mind you, there's hundreds of thousands of channels for them to select from. And the next thing I know, they had called my name and my page was pulled up in front of their live stream for their entire audience to judge. And this is what happened. Right, next channel we're gonna audit here is uh, Just Notified. And I'm gonna throw it to Jeff now to have a bit more of an in-depth look at what we can see here. So let's take a look. Do this and make 5,000 mo a month while you sleep, how to package and prep your... So from what I'm looking at here is this See, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. See, I'm already off to a pretty bad start here because you can't tell what my channel's about. And so I know it's just going to go downhill from here. So they've been on YouTube for four months. They started off with a very consistent style of thumbnail, very text heavy. Probably I would suggest Jeff at this channel could still simplify their thumbnail. Oh, for I, sure. I, don't, I don't know if it's a background for me that's just a bit too overpowering because it's very bright. I don't know if it contrasts well with the foreground at this point. See, it took me a really long time to steal this thumbnail style from somebody. So I wasn't expecting they were gonna ding me on that too. But the colors just really throw me off. And then when we have the text and we have the pictures and then we have all these other things added on, it's a lot happening. I get that they're trying to get a point across, but some simplification would be huge. It would go a long way. It could just be that background color that's really throwing me off, but some of it looks really busy. And I think that the background adds to the busyness. <sighs> All right, maybe it'll start getting better after this. What are your thoughts, Dan? The, there's too much being explained in each thumbnail. The thing that kind of slaps me in the face here is like, you're trying to tell me everything that's in your video with your thumbnail. Let's say your video is about the top five brands. You put all five of their logos in the video where you should have just led with one. Well, it's still not getting any better. One more thing I would change is the channel banner because I think that the channel banner also fits the thumbnails in that there's there's so many things going on here. There's like three different value propositions. Just simplify for just notified. He could have himself off to the side and just have build your own dreams. Like that's yeah. li that's li all you have to do. It's it's simple. It's very simple to the point. It's simplification, but also it doesn't, the thumbnails and the banner, they don't even have, there's no consistency there either. So like their profile picture has a blue, a blue feel. The banner has a blue feel. Then all of a sudden you get into this peach thumbnail wallpaper and it's like wait a minute the vibe doesn't match is what i'm saying so my banner's messed up all of my thumbnails are messed up nobody knows what my channel is about what i'm getting is my entire channel is just trash now believe it or not this was not the end of the roasting what they did next i've never seen them do before and i've been watching their live streams for months not only did they critique my page they started watching one of my youtube videos as if i wasn't humiliated enough already we don't usually do this, but just because I'm really intrigued, I kind of want to watch the first 15 seconds. Let's pick this one and just get an idea of what he's talking about. The YouTubers don't tell you about this, so let's talk about it. So how I would describe this uh, video is that the production value could use a little bit of work. I don't know if you need that at the very beginning of the video. What about you, Dan? Definitely the first screen's not needed. Using a bit of B-roll as well, which is pretty good. 
that's not but but what is the b-roll like it's it looks like people talking to camera maybe other well-known youtubers but like what's that showing is it matching what he's saying like little these are nitpicks i wonder if all of his stuff in the background is all of the stuff he's selling on amazon i wonder if that's because to me it just looks like a garage full of crap <laughs> but, it, uh, that's probably what it is it's <laughs> no way they just said that now now they just clowning now they clowning and that's starting to rub off onto the live audience because people are leaving comments making fun of me also so look, we have one person in the chat that says it's too bright to see the words. Now, that's constructive. I can take that. But then the next person follows up and says, that hurts my eyes. Just being dramatic. Then right behind them, somebody says, it's a lot going on in the thumbnail. Again, you know, I, I'll kind of take that. I still, I still think that Nick Venice is still trying to throw some jabs. But look, somebody else comes right behind them and says, the colors are off-putting. Is it really that bad? Hey, leave in the comments. Let me know. Is it really that? Does it hurt your eyes? I ain't gonna lie. That do kind of hurt my eyes. And this other comment, they they didn't even try to be constructive. They got straight to the point. And Magic City Gig Hustler just said, those thumbs are ugly. <sighs> Please have some pity on me by clicking the like button and subscribing to the channel because of this brutal experience I endured. I must say, at the end of the day, even though it's really hard for me to hear an outsider's perspective of all of my work, I had to swallow my pride and reflect on the fact that vidIQ has over a million subscribers, so I think it's safe to say that they know what they're doing. Since they reviewed my page, I did take their advice and I made some changes to my channel. Leave me a comment below by saying either before or after to let me know which layout you think looks better. But Rob and his team didn't only tell me things that I needed to work on. They also shared encouraging feedback that gave me the motivation to keep going. It feels as if we've given Just Notified here a lot of uh, nitpicks, as you were saying, Dan. But I think it comes from a place of positivity and encouragement mm -hmm. because the channel has had such a good start. You know, you're probably very close to monetization, if not already there on YouTube. Now you want to take it to 10,000 subscribers. You've got a, a core audience already. The things that we're suggesting are taking you to the next step, whereas other channels will look at much, much more basic things. Fun fact, I actually became eligible to start making money off my YouTube videos just two days after vidIQ's review. And the very next video that I made is now the top performing video on my channel, which has gained almost 10,000 views and about 150 subscribers in just one month. Hey, so thank you, Rob, Dan, and Jeff for taking the time to review my channel and providing your knowledge and tips. Now, like I mentioned before, the whole reason that I started YouTube is because I'm passionate about creating content and to generate a more passive form of income to help me in my pursuit for a better quality of life. And if you'd be interested in knowing exactly how much a beginner YouTuber gets paid, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll make a video showing you exactly how much I made my very first YouTube paycheck. Hey, and like you saw, vidIQ has over a million subscribers, which tells you that a lot of YouTubers need help. And if you'd like to see just how bad YouTubers first videos are, go ahead and check out my first upload here. And just for kicks, See if you can count out how many editing errors that I made.